what's in the game plan for next week. All right, there's not much in the way of earnings on Monday, but I'm hoping to get a read on the flagging retail sector. And boy, as you heard from Melissa's show before me, it's awful. And we got Dave and Buster's, that's, they're part of the close. They're both restaurant stocks and retailers, and those two have become pariahs in this market. Some people think, uh, seem to think that high inflation is destroying these two cohorts. I don't know. Hey, maybe Dave and Buster tell us. They have a very smart manager. Let's see what they have to say. Tuesday's packed with companies that could rock and royal the market. In the morning, we get results from McCormick, the spice company. And I think this inventive company will deliver an excellent number and surprise once again. We keep hearing that the hybrid workforce is here to stay. Well, you know what that means? It means people continue to cook at home. McCormick's been as dependable as they come since the pandemic got rolling, and I bet this time will be no different. After the close, we hear from two companies that stand at the crossroads of this market, and they're Micron and Lulu, Lululemon. Micron, the commodity chip maker, has seen its stock plunge from 98 in January to 78 today. I think it can tell a good story, a story about demand coupled with not enough new supply to upset the apple cart of pricing. To me, Micron, not Intel, is the real hero of American semiconductor manufacturing. So if you're looking for a play on domestic chip production, have at it. It's going to be Micron. You got my blessing to buy. As for Lulu, well, apparel has been in the crosshairs of the sellers, even as most of these companies are holding up pretty well. Lulu is a best-of-breed operator, yet sellers keep surfacing every time the stock lifts. Maybe they can stem the selling with this conference call. It's been its own private bear market. I want to know how Mirror is doing. That's that their smart home gym device that my daughter loves so much. Uh, also, after the close, speaking of bear markets, we have got results from PVH. That's the parent of Calvin Klein and Tom Hilfiger, which is being clobbered by the soaring price of cotton. Every commodity seems scarce these days, especially the ones that go into apparel. I'm not looking for a big courier, but nobody else is either. So PVH stock hasn't done much in ages. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.